In this video, you will learn how to create a document on Youth Voices, and you can use this document to keep a digital journal, and you can make that journal private or public. So I'm on the Youth Voices homepage, but I want to go to my profile. So if I hover over um, the option that says Anna's home, and it should say your name if you're logged in, I'll go to the second option, which says create a doc. And sometimes youth voices can be a little slow, so just be patient after you click on something, especially if you have slow internet. Um, so you want to give your document a title. Um, you can call it My Digital Journal or your name and then Digital Journal. And the first thing you want to do down at the bottom is decide who can read this document. So the default setting, the, the automatic setting, is that anyone can read it. Um, you probably want to make it a private document. So that means only you, the person who wrote the document, can read this. So this is like a private Google Doc um, that you have the option of sharing with other people if you, wa if you want to. Um, and so you want to start by adding a heading. I usually choose size 4 and writing the dates. Um, and then your first digital journal assignment um, is just a prompt asking you to explain your profile photo or your avatar and then your cover photo. So if you look on the right hand side of my screen, you can see all the avatars that people have chosen. Um, and I have some sentence frames in the Youth Voices assignment to help you. So if you want, you can just copy and paste. So you can start by saying you chose the image as your avatar because I feel like it represents my personality. Um, and I want people online to see me as, and then you can use these sentence frames or you can change them, but you need one paragraph that explains the image as your avatar. And then if you go back to the setup assignment, you can see um, you need to also explain why you chose your cover photo. Okay, so that is your first um, digital journal assignment. But before you're finished, you want to make sure that you go down here and click save or save and continue editing they will they'll both work um, so that's the biggest difference between this and google docs is that you need to choose to save this it will not automatically save for you and that's how you create a digital journal